There are good ways to say I'm sorry and not so good ways to say I'm sorry. Have you ever struggled with saying sorry? Maybe right now you want to apologize to somebody but you're not really sure how. Maybe you are afraid of how they're gonna react. Maybe you're not really sure if you should take ownership for the way that they feel. Well, that, we'll talk about this after the show wheel and give you three tips on how to say I'm sorry in a way that's genuine, vibrant, and really coming from your heart. <laughs> you can't feel too much. <laughs> Have you ever owned an animal like a dog or a cat? And you walk in the door and you know that they've done something wrong just by the way that they're acting. The tail between the legs or the big sad eyes or maybe they're hiding out because they know that they're gonna get in trouble. It can feel like that for us sometimes when we're trying to decide how to apologize to somebody. But here's one really great way. First of all, sit by yourself and acknowledge what you've done. Right? And by that, I mean, did you react from the highest, most powerful place that you could? Did you use words that if you were in a really calm and centered spot, you would have used? Did your actions reflect the highest and most positive way that you know that you can be for that person? Or do you know that unintentionally you made this other person feel bad? Now, that being said, we can't take ownership for how other people feel. However, we still can come in and create forgiveness, connection, vow to do something better, try to do something better, understand what hurt them. So we can come from a better, higher, more vibrant spot, right? So once you understand what it is that you feel you should be apologizing for or could be apologizing for, Choose your words and start centering yourself and know that however the other person reacts to your apology is not about you. It's still about their triggers. It's still about are they holding on to anger, holding on to upset, holding on to hurt. Now, it also depends upon the level at which something went wrong, right? If I was five minutes late picking somebody up or if I committed infidelity, those are two way different things to apologize for. And they're gonna require some different skills and also a different time. Second thing you wanna do when you're getting ready to apologize is really understand how you can take ownership for your part in it. This does not mean saying something like, I'm sorry you feel that way. I mean, that sounds very like, oh, I'm sorry you feel that way. It's, it blows somebody off, right? You also don't wanna say something like, well, I'm sorry I said that, but. But just means you're actually not sorry at all. That you're just apologizing because you feel like it. Because now you're justifying your actions or you're justifying your words or you're justifying whatever it is. So just a simple, I'm sorry. And the third thing when you apologize is do your best to communicate with them in the way they need. So in other words, some people want an apology right away and maybe you're not ready to give it. But can you do a little and then come back again later? Some people need days to cool off. And maybe the apology comes in a different type of form, right? So you have to also understand how is the person best gonna hear the apology? So how can you take ownership to clear your portion of it, to not react to how you think they should react to their apology and find forgiveness for yourself? Because this is key, right? That we need to find self-forgiveness before others can forgive us. If we still feel guilty, if we still feel bad, if we don't move through it, we carry that energy of I'm bad, I'm not worthy, I'm stupid, I am, I, you know, I did something wrong. I'm, I'm unforgivable. I should be ashamed. You know, that can really actually impact the quality, not only of your apology, but of the quality of communication afterwards. So as you consider apologizing, remember to center yourself and really own what you did or said. Number two, really make sure that it's on their timeline. 
right? You don't just go apologize because you feel like you need to apologize right now if they're not ready to hear it. Say it the way that they need to say it or they need to hear it, right? And forgive yourself as well. It's really important when you say I'm sorry. Really, really important when you say I'm sorry to forgive yourself, right? Because look at dogs and cats, they'll eventually get over it. They're not gonna pout around for years and days. Like once you, you know, punish them or tell them that they were naughty and then you've cleaned it up and cuddle with them, they're all happy again. So can you do that for yourself as well when you've done something that you feel wasn't in your highest and best alignment? Right, because it's, I mean, comes down, it's your karma, right? How do you want to sit in your karma? How do you want to own what you've done, not done, said, not said, been, not been, right? All of this can be apologized for. So I hope this is helpful for you. If there's more videos. Please subscribe, like, comment. How'd your apology go? Hopefully you're all forgiven and you've forgiven yourself. Take care. Namaste.